Welcome back. These are 18 or 20 Excel formulas which will help you to speed up your data entry work. So let's get started to explain these functions, the formulas one by one. So the first function formula is VLOOKUP. Let's move uh, to sheet 3 and I will explain you the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP function is used to just look for a value. Okay, vertical looking. It means it will vertically look for a value. It means it is used for searching to find a value. For example, we want to find the result of a uh, result based on ID. So we will use VLOOKUP form formula for that. Let's do it. First of all, let's write here ID. And here, for example, we want to find fourth number ID. We can just use a drop down list here and list all the IDs. But I will show to you just the one ID. OK, so just come here and here we will write the result. And here, let's write the VLOOKUP formula. VLOOKUP tab. So inside the VLOOKUP, first of all, lookup value. VLOOKUP value is this ID number we will select, comma. Table array, we will select our whole table. Comma, column index, which column index you want to find? We want to find the result. So for that first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. That is on seventh number. So we will write in the column number seven. Comma, then uh, true or false. It means we will just write a false per exact match. Close the parentheses and press enter so it means the fourth number id is failed with us so let's change the id to third see the result has changed to fast third number is fast with us this is the usage of vlookup function now just come here to second one which is index match index match is an advanced level of searching okay to find the value it is also used like vlookup okay but the vlookup is used for vertical looking but index match is used to find value uh vertically in horizon it is an advanced level then uh we look up okay the index uh, for these are two functions okay the index is a separate function match is a separate function the index function is used to return the value the match function is used to return the position so let's start okay we will explain it to you now and let's remove this vlookup function and instead of this now we want to find uh, based on id we want to find the result column result here I will write the result because we want to find the result. So the column name is the result. Okay, don't worry for that. So let's uh, start. Equal to first of all index function. Inside the index first of all array. The array is that means we will select our whole data, our whole table. Comma row number. Okay, for the row number we will use now the match function to find the row number. For that, let's reuse match function. And inside the match lookup value, we look up, it means that we will find third, okay, three. So this is, we will find the position of third number ID, comma, lookup array in match function. Lookup array is this ID that we will select, okay. Let's select our data, comma, zero, exact match. Comma, column number, okay, for the column number, we will just use now the result, okay, for that. So let's use again the match function. Open the parenthesis. Uh, after opening the parenthesis, our lookup failure. Lookup failure is this result. Okay, because we want to find the result for the column number. Comma. Lookup array. Lookup array is this header. Comma zero. Close the parenthesis. Close the index parenthesis and press enter. So the result is pass. It means the third number ID result is pass. Okay. Let's, for example, change the ID first of all. For example, that change, let, let's change that to fourth number. Let's change it fourth. See, the, uh, we have to, uh, it should change the value. So we have four, four ID. Let's, first of all, configure the ID. Let's change it, for example, to five. See? And the fifth number we uh, uh, that is failed because fifth number it will just extract the position of fifth, fifth number. Okay, the position of that is first, second, third, and fourth and fifth. Okay, it means not fifth, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it is the position it will return the position. Okay, not based on ID. So the position of five. Okay, like um, it just used like that. So let's now or is change this to um. For example, seven. 
7 is filled with as for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. But let's write six. Six is passed with us, okay? This one, this is the position of six. Sixth position that we have find, found. So now let's, for example, for the sixth number position, okay? Uh, we want to find the average of that. So let's change now this to average. See the average is 80. Look at the average of sixth position is 80. Or second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth position. That is 80. So that is how we can use index and match function. Now let's use count f function. Okay, count f function. Let's come here uh, where we will use that. We will. So let's use it here. Uh, let's write here count f. So count if is used to count out the values, okay, that we want based on multiple criteria. So let's do it is equal to count if count if, okay, press tab. So first of all, range. So let's select our range. For example, we want to find values like count. For example, let's select the products. And here we want to find the criteria is computer okay we want to find the count of computer how many computer uh, cells we have which contain computer so let's close it press enter so three cells three cells which we have contain the computer so that's how we can use the count f uh, formula so just come here now back to our first sheet one uh, now let's uh, average app average app is the same but it just find the average for us okay count if was used to count the well sales but average is used to find the average based on criteria so let's do it is equal to average app press tab first of all our range so let's select our range uh, sorry let's select our range Now let's select our range like this is our sales table okay let's sales table okay i have assigned a name to this uh, which is sales comma criteria we want to find for example the average for um, computer okay so let's again select the computer comma average range so we will select our sales for that Uh, if i'm not wrong so let's close it press enter yeah that is absolutely that is an error i have just uh entered a wrong function so to use that for that let's write average app and first of all we will select for example we want the average for computer first of all we will select this column okay our products comma then if you want to average find the uh, find the average of mouse or paint so you can select that let's find the average for table comma then our average range so average range is this cells select that and close it and press enter so the average uh, for table is 350 because we have two cells two product table 304 and which is 700 the average is uh, absolutely uh, 350 but maybe you have uh, thousands and hundreds records so in that you can use the average to find the um, average based on a criteria so now let's move to explain sum a function sum f is also the same function okay so let's do it sum f it just find the sum based on a criteria if you use the sum it find the sum of all these but the sum if is used to find based on a criteria for example you want to find the sum of just table or computer or mouse whatever you want so let's do it equal to sum f first of all our range our range is product let's select that comma criteria the criteria is for example want to find the sum up like paint comma let's sum range so sum range let's select the sales close it and press enter so far the the sum f of it means the sum of paint is uh, for uh, 4400 so 4000 first and 400 the second one we don't have any other record just two records so that is how we can use the sum f now let's use the proper proper is used just to change the um text to proper format okay like for example um, we have text let's come here let's write here text johan smith okay this is not a proper format what the proper for, uh, format will do so let's use it proper select it 
enter so it will just capital the letter of every word okay it will change the first letter of every word to capital so it's how we can use it. so you you may have uh, thousands of record and you want to change the um, uh, for format of your text to uh, capital so then you can use the proper method now let's use upper upper is used the same but it is used to change all the text to capital upper select it close it press enter so all letters are changed to capital letter and lower is used to change it to lowercase okay so you can use it that's the same as we did that is low, lower function is the same just to change the text to lower case time is used to remove spaces from text for example you have spaces at the start at the mid extra spaces okay for that to remove those spaces equal to trim select that it is very useful whenever you are entering the data okay it is very useful functions for example you are you have too much records and you want to remove spaces be uh, from that so you can just contain your text through this uh, trim function so it will remove all extra spaces main and mix main and mix is used to find the minimum and maximum number for example just come here let's for example we want to find the min average equal to open it we want to find the minimum average minimum is 60 let's find the max open it the max average is 83 and let's use um concatenate concatenate is used just to join two texts texts okay for example you have first name and last name column and you want to join both of them let's do it like here you have um johan smith and you want to uh, just like this is a full name okay concatenate or concat you can use both of them let's select first one comma second one and also third one fourth one how many you have press enter so we found where is the problem oh we have two equal signs so that is okay let's press enter so we have combined the, them okay you can just if you want to insert a space between them so let's write here a space comma and press enter so that's how we can do it use the concatenate it is useful whenever you have a records of names first name and last name you want to combine them and let's use the date for uh, the date uh, formula the date is used just to convert the day month and year to date format like this okay so let's do it for example uh, equal to i will just show to you like this but in real life you can for example 2003 and 4 and 12 close it so it will change this format uh okay to date format okay but when you have year and month and day so you can change that to a date format so for example you have in separate columns year day uh, and month so you can convert them to date format using date function you can also use month day and year to extract them okay for example if you want to extract a year so you can use year function you can use month function you can use day function uh, now let's move to rank okay let's use now rank for example in this sheet we want to find the rank of the student okay which one is the fourth second and third fourth one okay find the student so for that let's use rank function equal to rank it is also duplicated i think so first of all number okay so we will select this average we want to find the rank of the students based on average so let's select the average comma then the reference in the reference we will just write select the whole average value of the average column of average comma in order which order descending or uh, ascending we want to ascending first close it and press enter so this is an fourth number this is fourth number student so let's extract it down so this is sixth number this is also fourth and because the same average first number third number uh, i think there is a mistake why so 60 60 is first first oh, oh let's just uh, change this to descending zero let's enter uh 60 60 we have one one and one that is not correct 
yeah yeah the problem is in this function that we should make this absolute h5 to h11 this is absolute so to make it absolute we will just press f4 so it will add this um dollar sign before that okay dollar sign before column and row so let's press enter now now i will just drag it down say this is first number student 83 and the second one this one 80 and third number fourth number fifth number both same okay it has both the same average and we don't have sixth one okay so that is how we can do it it is also because the average is the same so it, uh, it is how we can use the rank function whenever we want to find the rank of the students uh let's move to the value function so the value function the formula is used to convert text to number for example you have numbers which is formatted as text like this okay for example these are converted as the format of them is text and you want now sometimes whenever you apply formula on this so it will just give you an error because this is text this is not a number so uh, in the formula we should use number so to convert text to numbers for that let's use the equal to value function select it close it press enter so now it is the format of it has changed to number now if you look at it here this is text and this is general number okay the number so this is how we can use the value function now let's use count blank okay to just count the blank cells let's use it here equal to count it is useful whenever you have um data and you want to find just blank records count blank so just select range for example let's select this range close it we have 18 cells which 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 are blank and let's come here to the left and right left and right is used just to extract the text for example let's extract text from this so let's use it uh, equal to left for example we will select now uh, this text and we want from left side we want just four character press enter so just four character has been extracted if you drag it down so it will do it for all these names and the right is used just to extract the number from of text from right side like select this one come up from right side for example i want five character center so just five character from right side it is very useful whenever you are entering the data and you are dealing with data so you will use these functions and you will know uh, the usage of these functions and some functions some function is very easy that we can use for example we want to find the sum of all these cells equal to sum select all the values close it and press enter so the sum is 15900 so it's how we can use these functions these formulas um, whenever you are entering data entry and you are working as a data entry um, clerk and you are entering data into the pc so if you find this video helpful so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching